it's important to have a nice smile. If if the smile isn't nice, at least a clean smile, okay? What's up, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. This is In Skin, and you already know. And if you don't, well, then you need to subscribe. Today's video is going to be about dental hygiene and how important it is and just things that I've done since I have gotten my braces taken off. I don't know if this is like a six month, a six month update post braces, but I am going to show you all what I do to just stay on top of my dental hygiene. Body hygiene is important, yes, but so is dental hygiene, as everyone should know. So I'm just gonna get into what I do now. Disclaimer, I am not a dental hygienist, a dental assistant. Anything in the dental field is doing what works for me and my body. So please be open-minded with the things that I am using. If it's something that you want to try, then go right ahead. If it's something that you prefer to stay away from, that's fine. You can always find a substitute or just not do what I do. It's okay. So immediately we're going to talk about the first step in dental hygiene, which is obviously brushing your teeth, brushing your mouth. It's not just your teeth in your mouth that you need to be concerned about this is a colgate one i got this in a pack of three um i believe it was no more than eight dollars um i have all the prices to everything down in the description below this is the toothbrush i have it is a soft toothbrush because soft toothbrushes are better for you in brushing if you have a hard toothbrush or medium toothbrush you should probably just switch to soft because soft toothbrushes make it um, easier for the person to use the toothbrush if you have like a hard toothbrush it may be too harsh for your gums or just the size of your mouth when you are brushing so it is important to use a soft toothbrush most dentists recommend soft toothbrushes so this is what this one is right here on the toothbrush I do have like these grooves right here and it's supposed to scrape your tongue. It's supposed to help with that. But I'm gonna show you guys what I use instead of this back part. However, using that part does help with brushing like the insides of your cheeks and your lips. Although I don't use it for cleaning my tongue, it still serves a purpose. It doesn't necessarily matter to me which what kind of toothbrush, whether you have to manually move the toothbrush around or if you have a automatic toothbrush, a mechanical toothbrush, it really doesn't matter to me. The the main part is to brush your teeth. Now, now what does matter is the kind of toothpaste you use. So the one I use now is the Crest Plus Premium Advanced Whitening Toothpaste. You feel it foaming up and, and sizzling up as you are brushing in your mouth. And me personally, I like that feeling. I don't necessarily like tooth, toothpaste where there is like no foam. Or it just kind of feels like water is going across my teeth. And I don't really feel clean that way, so I prefer toothpaste that foams up. There are toothpaste that are targeted for specific things such as gum sensitivity, teeth whitening, fresh breath, um, enamel protection. I used to be a Colgate girl, but I don't know. I don't know. I haven't. It's been a while since I've used Colgate. You don't just want to brush your teeth. You actually want to brush everywhere in your mouth. So that's including your tongue. That's including the inside of your cheeks, the roof of your mouth. I don't hear too many people talking about cleaning the roof of their mouth, which is something that should be discussed a little bit more, only because everyone knows the tongue holds bacteria. It's basically like the sponge of your mouth. It just harbors all the bacteria in your mouth 24 seven. So yes, while it is important to scrub your tongue, where does your tongue sit? It sits at the bottom of your jaw, but what is always at the top? The roof of your mouth. So you wanna take your toothbrush and scrub the roof of your mouth like going up. That way you are getting everywhere that the tongue is touching. What's the point of having a clean tongue if the roof of your mouth is still not clean? So now moving on from brushing, we're gonna discuss other things that are important when talking about dental hygiene. So now we're gonna get into flossing. I was not raised to brush my teeth twice a day nor floss twice a day um however when I did get my braces 
uh, that kind of changed. And then once I got them off and I was able to really floss and really get into areas of my teeth, then that's what I decided to do. So now um, I definitely do floss. So these are what I use for floss. Um, you can use any floss that you want. Some people prefer the disposable ones that come with the sticks as opposed to the string floss, the traditional string floss that everyone knows about. Whatever type of floss you prefer, long as you are flossing, um, that's going to help with your overall dental hygiene. Flossing helps with bad breath. Flossing helps with keeping your teeth white and clean. Flossing helps with gum health. I feel like most people floss only when they have something stuck in their teeth. But it is really important to just continue to build the habit of flossing. I underestimated it when I was younger. I really didn't care about flossing unless it was something stuck in between my teeth. But now that I'm older, I realize that it really is important and that everyone should do it. So keep some floss around. So now we're gonna talk about cleaning your tongue. What I like to use are the Grin Tongue Cleaners. I like to use these because for one, they're disposable. For two, they don't hurt. Um, and then they're also made with plastic so it is recyclable and you get 32 of these in a pack um, I got this pack from I got this pack from Target but you would basically just take this end stick your tongue out scrub your scrub your tongue I still like the feeling of like something sudsing something foaming up just to help with the bacteria getting off my tongue so i put toothpaste on my tongue and then i also go in with this and i do that for a few until my tongue is pink if there is anything on your tongue outside of it being pink it needs to come off and that's probably gonna cause bad breath these retail for about three dollars and fifty cents and 32 come in a pack there are other types of tongue scrapers um i've seen some where they are a little bit longer and they actually have like a head to it and there's just more grooves it's all really about preference so now we're going to talk about mouthwash i think everyone knows listerine has been pretty much the most like trusted mouthwash um because it burns <laughs> the alcohol in listerine really gives you that clean fresh breath feeling fresh mint feeling that everyone loves to feel after they brush their teeth because it just makes them feel like their breath is fresh but there are other mouthwashes on the market that don't have alcohol in them that still work this is the one that i use i'm sure you all have seen this in stores and a lot of people don't really think that it works because, you know, just based off the presentation, it's just kind of plain and, you know, really simple. But this stuff does work. This whole line works. I have the original Clean Mint one and it's supposed to help fight gingivitis for up to 24 hours. It also helps with um, protecting your teeth from plaque and tartar. I've been using this basically since I got my braces off because um my gums were sensitive once i got my braces off so um i was recommended just to use this one although this one does not have any alcohol inside of it it still keeps your breath fresh for up to 24 hours it still gives me a clean mint feeling i still feel like a fresh feeling from it but the difference is it doesn't burn like listerine typically does listerine burns the entire time that you are rinsing and I don't know maybe i'm just a little bit older it's a little uncomfortable for me just you know keep my breath fresh without the burn please there are a lot more rinses from this particular brand that are on the market so just pick one and find one this particular brand it'll start off about ten dollars and it can go up depending now we're going to move into talking about just my retainers so i do have a permanent retainer at the bottom row of my teeth it's metal it stays in there it's not coming out like i don't even feel it in there anymore because it has been so long but my other retainer it's important to keep it moist so that it doesn't dry out and start accumulate a film over it which can lead to bad breath and just more bacteria in your mouth that you don't really want so um, what I do with my retainer is about once a week, I clean it out with either white vinegar or baking soda. And I let it sit for about no more than 15 minutes. 
in the white vinegar and then I rinse it out. Now it is best to use distilled water when trying to clean and disinfect any type of tool. If you don't have it, that's fine. Just rinse it off with whatever water that you do have. If I choose to use the baking soda with the baking soda, it's the same thing. Distilled water, add a little bit of baking soda to it, let it sit for no more than 15 minutes and rinse off the residue. I do that about once a week or so just to keep the bacteria and everything away. It's important to have a nice smile. If, if the smile isn't nice, at least a clean smile, okay? It's important to have a clean mouth and a good dental hygiene routine because their teeth are one of the first things people see. It's one of the first things people judge you off of and what they look at. So keep your mouth clean. Dental hygiene is just as important as bodily hygiene and any other health aspect um, when it comes down to us over here at this channel. So yes, that is my dental hygiene routine for gum health, plaque, bad breath and if you are post braces if you did just get your braces taken off and you're getting back into the swing of things you can also use this routine as well for your retainer but yes thank you also so much for watching um don't forget to like comment share subscribe and i'll see you all in my next one bye